Tourism Caucus in Washington, D.C. 122 congressmen and women are a part of that caucus, both Democrats and Republicans. And three, she has some strong words about why we, all Americans, need to wake up. Let's be candid. It isn't every day you hear a politician talk like this. Come on, America, let's talk about it. Let's stop being politically correct. Let's put it on the table. <laughs> Put on the table, U.S. Representative Sue Myrick says, the fact terrorists are infiltrating American society often through the Internet. They are using the Internet for training uh, al-Qaeda is, other groups, uh, Hezbollah, the rest of them. If we are able to eliminate some of the key leaders of al-Qaeda, it isn't the same anymore because they are still there in perpetuity on their tapes. They're still doing the training. They're telling people how to do everything that they want them to do. Myrick says yes. She is familiar with the Samir Khan situation and has known about his pro-Al-Qaeda, anti-American website for a while. She's also aware of what we told you in Tuesday night's story. Khan was working at the South Charlotte branch of Converges Corporation. How surprised were you to hear Samir Khan was working at a company with a governmental contract? Well, um, not that surprised because this is a very big problem. To be clear, Myrick means this as the general issue. Convergence tells us Khan had no dealings with government contracts or client information. Capitol Hill does know of Khan. He spoke with the New York Times last fall under the condition they hide his face. The interview is online. The American government is losing this war, and the Muslims are winning this war. When we recently asked about his statements to the Times, he stood by them. It's on tape. It's on tape, and take it as is. We don't need my... Myrick won't say whether or not her office is investigating Khan, saying she's not going to talk specifically about an individual. She says the bigger issue is getting all of us talking about the realities of terrorism. Don't be fooled. She says when an enemy of America uses the web to promote jihad on an English-speaking site, that is a calculated move. And they are make, making a special effort now to recruit um, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Americans like you, um, who don't fit the mold, very frankly because it's easier to infiltrate that way? Yes. Infiltrate in a very legal way. So they aren't doing anything illegal. But they know that, don't they? Yes, they do. They walk a fine line. They do. And they use our Constitution against us. They use our Constitution against us, and they know just how far they can go. Again, Khan says, and he told us, he is not recruiting for terrorism or al-Qaeda. And as for Myrick's strong words, she is the one with the Wake Up America plan. It was released mm -hmm. in April. Are you familiar with that? I am. She's been working on it ever since 2001. Right. I know about it. It's Fighting a, terrorism homegrown. Absolutely. A 10-point agenda. A lot of it has to do with Saudi Arabia. And that's one of the things she said she wants to get done. She's trying to fight Islamic terrorists who are here in America. Things like cancel scholarship student visa program, specifically with Saudi Arabia. Well, it takes awareness and all.